Hey guys, what's up? It's KJ and listen, if you want to absolutely crush it financially in 2024, you need to master these 10 money rules. We're not talking about your grandma's outdated financial tips here, all right? These rules are updated, upgraded, and specifically designed to thrive in today's crazy world of inflation, AI, and constantly changing markets. Think about it, the strategies that worked just a year or two ago might not cut it anymore. We're talking about a whole new ballgame in 2024, so the big question is, are you playing by the right rules? Are you setting yourself up for financial freedom, or are you stuck in the same old cycle? In this video, we're diving deep into the 10 money rules that will not only help you survive but thrive in 2024 and beyond. Let's do this. Look, I know, I know, you've heard it a million times. Spend less than you earn. It's like the oldest rule in the book, right? But there's a reason why this one never gets old, it's the foundation for everything. You can't build a skyscraper on a foundation of sand and you can't build wealth if you're constantly spending more than you make. But here's the thing guys, it's not just about cutting back on lattes, we're talking about being smart, strategic, and really understanding where your money is going. That means creating a budget that actually works for you. And no, I'm not talking about some restrictive, soul-crushing budget. Think of it more like a financial roadmap, a plan that helps you reach your goals faster. By tracking your spending, you start to see those little leaks, those unnecessary expenses that add up over time. Once you identify those leaks, you can plug them and redirect that cash flow towards things that actually matter, like investing, paying down debt, or that dream vacation you've been saving for. Remember, it's not about deprivation, it's about making conscious choices with your money. This is rule number one for a reason, people. It's the bedrock of financial success. Let's talk about compound interest for a second. It's this amazing, almost magical force that's like having your money work for you even while you sleep. The sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow exponentially. Think of it like this. You plant a tiny seed and over time it grows into a massive tree. That's compound interest in action. But here's the catch. The earlier you plant that seed, the bigger and stronger that tree will become. You see, time is your greatest asset when it comes to investing. Even small, consistent investments made early on can snowball into significant wealth over the long term. It's not about trying to time the market or pick the next hot stock. It's about being disciplined, staying consistent, and letting the power of compound interest work its magic. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, but Graham, I don't have a lot of money to invest right now, and that's okay. The beauty of this is that you don't need to be rich to start investing. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Let's be real life throws curveballs. Sometimes it's a flat tire, other times it's a job loss or an unexpected medical bill. That's where your emergency fund comes in. It's your financial safety net, your peace of mind fund. Think of it as your financial armor, protecting you from those unexpected financial blows that life throws your way. Having a solid emergency fund means that you're not forced to go into debt or make rash financial decisions when those unexpected events occur. A good rule of thumb is to have at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in a readily accessible account. That means if you lose your job or face a financial emergency, you have a buffer, a financial cushion to fall back on while you get back on your feet. Now I know what you're thinking. Saving three to six months worth of expenses sounds like a lot, right? And it can be, especially if you're just starting out. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to happen overnight. Start by setting a realistic savings goal, even if it's just $50 or $100 a month. The key is to be consistent and make it a priority. Trust me, having that financial peace of mind is priceless. Let's talk about debt, specifically the kind that keeps you up at night, high interest debt. I'm talking about credit cards, payday loans, the works. These types of debt are like financial leeches sucking the life out of your financial progress. Every dollar you're paying in interest is a dollar that could be going towards your financial goals like investing, saving, or even just enjoying life a little more. The longer you let high interest debt linger, the more it snowballs, making it even harder to get ahead. So how do you tackle this financial beast? First, you need to get clear on exactly how much you owe and what interest rates you're paying. Once you have a clear picture, it's time to create a debt payoff plan. There are a couple of popular strategies, the snowball method where you focus on paying off your smallest debt first for motivation, and the avalanche method where you prioritize the debt with the highest interest rate to save money in the long run. Whichever method you choose, the key is to be aggressive and consistent with your payments. Look for areas where you can cut back on spending and redirect that money towards debt repayment. Imagine this. 
You've poured all your savings into one single stock, convinced it's going to make you rich. But then, the market takes a downturn, and that stock plummets. Suddenly, you're staring at significant losses, and your dreams of early retirement vanish into thin air. That's why diversification is key. It's like the old saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different asset classes, industries, and geographical locations, you're essentially creating a financial safety net. If one investment takes a hit, the others can help cushion the blow, protecting your overall portfolio. Think of it like a balanced diet for your money. You wouldn't just eat pizza every day, right? You need a variety of nutrients to stay healthy. The same goes for your investments. You need a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate, and potentially even alternative investments like cryptocurrencies or precious metals. We're all busy, right? Life gets hectic and sometimes saving money falls to the bottom of our to-do list. But what if I told you there's a way to make saving money practically effortless? Enter the magic of automation by setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts, you're essentially putting your savings on autopilot. It's like a financial set it and forget it system. You choose the amount you want to save, the frequency of the transfers, and let technology do the rest. The money disappears from your checking account before you even have a chance to spend it, making it easier to reach your savings goals without even thinking about it. Let's talk about a common trap that many people fall into especially when they start earning more money lifestyle inflation. You get a raise, you buy a nicer car, you upgrade your apartment, and suddenly, you're back to living paycheck to paycheck, just with fancier stuff. The truth is, financial freedom isn't about how much money you make, it's about how much you keep and what you do with it. Living below your means, even when your income increases, is the key to building wealth and achieving true financial security. Now I'm not saying you have to live like a monk and deprive yourself of all joys in life, it's about finding a balance, being mindful of your spending, and making conscious choices that align with your values and long-term goals. Let's dive deeper into this idea of lifestyle inflation because it's a sneaky one. It's like a silent wealth killer, slowly chipping away at your financial progress without you even realizing it. It's easy to fall into the trap of keeping up with the Joneses. You see your friends or colleagues buying fancy cars, taking lavish vacations, and suddenly, you feel the pressure to do the same. But here's the thing, you don't know their financial situation. They might be drowning in debt or living paycheck to paycheck, even with their seemingly glamorous lifestyle. The world of finance is constantly evolving. New technologies, investment strategies, and tax laws emerge all the time. Staying ahead of the curve and continuously educating yourself on financial trends is essential for making informed decisions and maximizing your financial success. Don't rely solely on outdated advice or assumptions. The strategies that worked for your parents or grandparents might not be relevant in today's fast-paced financial landscape. Make it a habit to read financial news, listen to podcasts, attend webinars, and follow reputable financial experts online. Retirement might seem like a lifetime away, especially when you're young and just starting out in your career. But here's the thing. The earlier you start planning and saving for retirement, the better off you'll be. Time is your biggest asset when it comes to retirement planning, thanks to the magic of compound interest. Even small, consistent contributions to your retirement accounts can grow exponentially over time, providing you with a comfortable nest egg when you're ready to retire. Don't wait until it's too late to start thinking about retirement. The sooner you begin, the more options you'll have and the less stress you'll experience later on. There you have it, guys. The 10 Money Rules for Financial Success in 2024. These rules are your roadmap to navigating the challenges and opportunities of today's financial landscape. From harnessing the power of technology to outsmarting inflation and making savvy investment choices, these rules are your guide to building a solid financial foundation. Remember, Financial freedom isn't about luck or privilege. It's about making smart choices, being disciplined, and taking control of your financial future. These 10 rules are simple, actionable, and can make a world of difference in your financial life. Start implementing them now and take control of your future. Now I wanna hear from you. Which rule resonates with you the most? And do you have any additional money rules that have helped you on your financial journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going.